Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Tuesday night, and my God Almighty, I can't wait for this week to end already. But I gotta say, I'm honestly feeling exhausted, but at the same time, I'm also very intrigued that we are actually so close to the end of the Legend of Heroes: The Trails in the Sky. The game please has an RPG length to it, but at the same time, it still feels short, and I think that's only because I think it's because. I already know that this chapter's there's a second chapter and a third chapter of Trails in the Sky, which basically makes it a three-part series. So I effectively have played through the entire just first part of the game, knowing that there's two other parts, and it just makes it feel a whole lot shorter. I don't know why, but I've almost put into the 40 hours into this game, so can we jump on in? and a start to play. Hopefully you've had a good start to your week. Hopefully you had a good Tuesday. I myself <clears throat> am more exhausted. Like I said, my schedule has drastically changed and I have not done my best to acclimating to it. But hopefully once I get into the swing of things, it'll be a whole lot better. That's honestly what I'm hoping for. Because honestly, I am excited to actually play this game. And also to play other games, because a ton of games have come out that I would like to play through. But it's going to be very difficult to actually make the time, and also now, even more than ever, to actually even plan uh, to actually make, to actually plan to decide what games. Because, what was it, this week, today, Nintendo Online came out. Uh, the Capcom beat em ups games also came out today. Both apparently not getting really good online coverage on Switch, which is really disappointing, honestly, because I'm rooting for you, Nintendo, but I gotta know if it's peer to peer or if the servers are in Japan and not in the United States, because having that server infrastructure really does need to exist stateside to be able to offer that support. And I know that's going to be a huge risk for Nintendo, but that's something they've, they've got to do if they want to keep, you know, American audiences happy. And the same thing applies to the their EU market as well. But why don't we jump on in here? We're in the final chapter. We are about to go and meet the head maid, and so we can actually have a chance to meet with the queen and also maybe the princess as well. I feel sorry, honestly, for the, uh... For Zin. I feel like he gets, uh... Shortchanged. I like his character. I really do. I feel like he is shortchanged in this game. Just because we're always leaving him. <sighs> Things have gotten serious. We really have to find a way in t uh, to get in to see Her Majesty. First things first. We go talk to the headmaid Hilda like we promised. She probably knows the way for us to speak directly to the Queen. Fine by me. Well, let's go see if we can actually find some of the other guys. Hey, it's the Professor. It's Dean Collins. The Colonel's points are all very logical and rational. I believe it would be, uh... It would be to get the particulars from Her Majesty and Her Highness the Princess directly. Everyone's being duped. I can't believe the Queen's so worried she's considering abdication. And Princess Claudia choosing a husband at her age. Events are unfolding so quickly, I hardly have time to react. <clears throat> well, at least it's good to know the mayors and the uh, dean are all on the same page. What a shock this banquet has been. Duke Dunon is official successor to the throne? If anything could bring on a migraine, it's that. It seems seems it was a banquet to remember, and now my mis mistress has yet another uh, worry to wrinkle her brow. Oh, oh, it's you. What? Colonel Richard. Haha, <laughs> Estelle and Joshua. This is our first opportunity to speak face to face, I believe. Last time we saw each other was right after Mayor Dalmore was arrested, wasn't it? I'm honestly surprised you remember us. 
I realize that we exchanged few words, but you made a quite an impression on me. My curiosity was piqued, so I did a bit of checking up on you. I was cu quite surprised that you were the children of Colonel Cassius. How'd you find that out? <laughs> Please understand, I'm not trying to show off the Intelligence Division's capabilities. I'm greatly indebted to him from our time together in the army. Indeed, more than words can properly express. Might, might I persuade you to stay a while and talk? I've been hoping to speak with you uh, two for quite some time now, huh? Pardon me, Colonel, but don't you have a meeting with His Grace? I don't mind being a bit late. Ah, uh, yes, if we're going to talk, why don't we use the lounge outside? I'll mix you up a couple of virgin cocktails. I'll, I'll prepare them, sir! No, that won't be necessary. I want you to go to His Grace and inform him that I'll be delayed. Yes, sir. Pardon me, then. She really doesn't like us. Now then, shall we retire to the lounge? Please follow me. Uh, Joshua, what should we do? Let's see where we have much choice but to follow him. We'll be a bit little late, but we can talk to the head maid later. I met Cassius shortly after I graduated from the military academy. I was assigned to a mobile unit that was under his command. And since that time, I found myself in his debt again and again, both per personally and professionally. Uh, he did? And, uh, what did you think of, it, of him at the time? To put it simply, he was a hero. And a master swordsman to boot. No matter the scenario, he could find a way to handle any number of battlefronts in every direction. It wasn't just a matter of sheer tactics. He understood and could direct high-level strategy as well. Quite simply, he was a man without peer. If I'd know better, I'd say you were talking about two different people. So you were with our father during the Hundred Days War? Yes, he was my CO. Even now, I can still vividly remember the, ex uh, the excitement that filled me as we executed his plan that turned the war's tide. Anytime I get to talking about those days, time just runs away with me. But this much I can tell you. If Cassius Bright had not been part of the Royal Army, Libra would now be part of, Arabonian, of the Erebonian Empire. No, no way! That's kind of hard to believe. <laughs> well, as a hero, he had a knack for doing unbelievable things. He left the army immediately after the war, declining even a medal from the Queen. So few know of his achievements. But inside the army, many soldiers hold him up as a prime example of what a hero should be. Uh... He never said one word about any of this to me. Well, it's not really the kind of thing you tell your daughter about. It's not fair to criticize him for that. Hey, whose side are you on? Besides, why doesn't any of this shock you like it shocks me? Did you already know about all this or something? Well... I didn't know that he was Colonel Richard's superior officer. The rest I knew about. Begley. Begley? You're an accomplice! Hey, calm down. It's not like he told me any of it. I just figured a lot out of it. A lot of it out. He told me he didn't fe uh, feel like it was something worth going out of his way to tell others about. Uh, I just don't get it. When he comes back, he is in s he's so in trouble. <laughs> Er, I... Please excuse us, we didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, seeing you like this is actually a bit of a relief. When I found out that your father was intending to leave the military, I desperately tried to stop him. It seems that by leaving, he did what was best for himself after all. After losing his dear wife, maybe being with you was all that he could help uh, that could help him recover. Colonel Richard. Now then, I thank you for taking uh, the time to come here. I can't really keep the Duke wait, uh, waiting, so I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. Oh, alright. Our apologies for making you so late. Not at all. You both have told me the one thing I want to know uh, the most. And thus, I have no regrets. Huh? How's that again? <laughs> I'm sure we'll have a chance to speak again soon. Cassia might even be with us then, to share in the stories. Um, okay.
Okay, who is that man and what has he done with Colonel Richard? What are you babbling about now? It's just that it's weird to hear him talking about Dad that way. I wasn't expecting him to be so, well, nice. True, he didn't. He doesn't seem all that villainous anyway. So it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that he's got something up his sleeve. For now, we should probably put the issue of Dad aside. Yeah, I guess you're right. And I hate to say it, but I think that he might have been playing nice just because he could get something out of it. He's an intelligence officer, so he probably thinks that fooling a couple of kids is as easy as it could be. But don't you think that's going a little too far? You might be right. Let me be the one who's mistrustful of others. You should just follow your instincts and believe whatever you think is right. Huh? But just make sure you're prepared for anything. Don't let your guard down. I'd say it's a bracer's job. It's pretty much that, in fact. Okay, I got it. Keep it in mind. Thank you, Estelle. Thank you? What the heck are you thanking me for? Anyway, we need to go back and see Hilda. She's probably sick of waiting for us. Yeah. You should be in the maid's quarters. Hey, how's it going, Ganaham? How are you doing tonight? Oh, well, I can remember where the maid's quarters are. This is not the maid's quarters. This is gonna be a search because I did not explore the castle in full. <clears throat> Am I in, like... I guess I'm in the banded wing. Oh, wait, no, there's... Is the factory chief? Estelle, Joshua, have you met with Her Majesty? Uh, no, apparently not. You're good. You didn't have any homework. Ah, I miss those days. Those were the days. <laughs> but at least you have the night free, so that's good. Feel to enjoy yourself, kick your sh kick your shoes off, and relax. Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you. You're awfully late, aren't you? Sorry about that. You kinda got caught by Colonel Richard. Did you now? He had some things to tell us about our dad. I don't think he has any idea what we're up to, though. I see. Yes, that letter of introduction did mention that you were Mr. Cassius' children. I can understand at least how some, uh, some of how Colonel Richard feels. Oh, do you know our dad, too? He used to come here when he worked as General Morgan's aide-de-camp. I'm told that he was a school friend of the late prince's, her majesty's son. Late prince? Princess Claudia's father? Yes, he was killed 15 years ago in a tragic shipwreck. Or that he would that he were still alive today, none of this would be happening. Huh? But lamenting what might have been is a fool's errand. Evening is fast approaching. We must make our preparations at once. Come on in, Shia. Time to play dress up. Hey, aren't you... Shia, right? Yes, thank you for remembering. You look well, Estelle, Joshua. I'm told of your current predicament. You won't find a more dependable child. She's a great help to us uh, whenever the princess is in the castle. Princess Claudia. That shouldn't pose a problem. But thank you. If you're ready, you should go to, uh, you should go change into your uniforms. The ribbons and headpiece are tricky, so I'll adjust them for you. Ha! I was right! <laughs> I do enjoy a good game that enjoys the disguises. What? What do you mean? Estelle is going to need to dress as one of the maids in order to keep, uh, to get into the royal keep. A little plain with hair and you'll blend right in. Oh, I get it. Uniforms don't allow much in the way of personalization. That should be ideal for sneaking in. Me, in a maid's outfit. I've been wanting to try one ever since we first met Lila. <sighs> Cute, breezy, and easy to move in. <laughs> well, if our uniforms weren't e uh, easy to move in, they'd make uh, the cleaning much more difficult. I thought so. Well, let's get this sucker on me. Why so excited? I'm glad you're in high spirits, but you need to remember your manners in front of the queen. I apologize, I'm a bit, uh, congested tonight. Oh. <clears throat> you won't have to me, uh, you won't have me to lean on this time. Why not? You're changing too, aren't you? Uh, pardon? 
I mean, he did play the princess during the play at the campus festival. Is there really that much of a difference between the fancy dress and a maid outfit? That's... different. It was a play. I can't appear before Her Majesty in women's clothes? Oh, you'll be fine. It's not all shameful or anything. Besides, you made such a gorgeous princess. Not this again. Cut the jokes, will you? Hilda, Shia, help me out here. Say something. Just like Olivier, he's doomed. <laughs> it's the silence of doom in this game. Anyone? I see. That shouldn't pose a problem. Shia, don't you have an extra hairpiece designed for the princess? Yes, it's never been used, though. He has that full dark hair, so it'd probably look good on him. Hey, hold on a second. Well, it looks like a 3 to 1 vote. Shorty rules. Long live democracy. This way, please. We can use this as a changing room. Wait a minute, I don't remember ever agreeing to changing. Too bad, son. Get used to it. Alright, alright. If I have to change, I can do it myself. Uh, Shia, you're not planning to use makeup too, are you? Ah, kids these days. I'm actually kind of interested in seeing uh, Estella's maid. Oh my! Ta-da! Hey, she looks good. <laughs> what do you think? I think it suits her very well. Such a bright, active maiden training. You're only coming to the castle too. You certainly have me convinced. And with the hair down like that, no one will be the, any the wiser. I actually do like her with her hair down. I do like Estelle's hair down. Perhaps you'd like to work at Grand Cell Castle for real when this is all settled. Well, we already work as bracers, so, uh, anyway. Come on, Joshua, get out here. <sighs> no chance I can talk you out of this? None at all. You're just making this take longer. Fine. You're impossible sometimes. Here comes Mrs. Doubtfire. Sparkles to boot. And long hair. Okay, I gotta ask, where the heck is he getting long hair for this one? The princess's outfit, I understand. How with the maid? How? Well, it's almost frightening how Goodland looks. Isn't it awesome? It looks better on him than it does on me. I'm an actual girl. <laughs> A bit of makeup can make all the difference in the world. Please, just say you're done. Well, I suppose so. I'll show you the way to the Royal Keep. You need to make certain you watch me and learn how a maid handles herself. Yes, ma'am. We're finally gonna meet the Queen in person. Yes, this is a do-or-die moment. We just have to stay focused and get to the Royal Keep. <laughs> it's hard to take you seriously in that outfit. Well, excuse me. This is your idea. I can't believe you got the nerve to pick on. Sorry, sorry, don't get all mad. Treat you some ice cream later, okay? Hmm, I'm not like you. I'm not obsessed with food. Hey, I'm not obsessed with food. <laughs> they get along so well, don't they? We're out of time. Let's go to the Royal Keep. They've got really good extensions. And, of course, we all know who the party leader is. It is Hilda. Oh, that's the throne room. Clearly I know where I'm going. Uh, I believe... No, this was the library. Wait. Yeah, this was the library. Where the heck is the terrace? I don't know, this world doesn't make it seem like, uh... Ex hair extensions can exist, but hey. Actually, I'm curious. Did they actually... No, they actually did design the hair differently between Joshua and, um... Uh... Estelle. I'm actually confused here of where I actually need to go. I think it's actually here. Or was it... No, this... I am terrible at navigating the castle. I am terrible at navigating this castle. Let's actually... Let's actually increase speed here. Uh, 
Oh, is it this way? Oh, wait. Here it is. Excellent. This is the way. Sorry, I'm also a bit tired, too. <clears throat> Hilda! What business do you have with Her Majesty at this hour? I'm bringing some tea and spoons at her request. The current situation means that Her Majesty is denied the right to even go about her daily life as she wishes, after all. Such harsh words. Hmm. Who are these maids with you? I didn't recognize them. His Grace ordered me to hire on some additional staff to help. They've only arrived at the castle today. Really now? Hey, you're pretty cute. Thank you. Huh? Where did I get the feeling we've met before? Crap. You stare so hard at every young lady you see. I do hope you're not thinking any untoward thoughts. I'd rather think his grace and the colonel would disapprove. Hey, it, it's not like that. We're the elite of the royal army, we wouldn't do that. All's well then. Now, will you please allow us to pass? Pardon us, ladies. Please, go ahead. There, there's nothing wrong with thinking untoward thoughts. You must deny that. <laughs> you do have to deny it, though. <clears throat> Phew, that was intense. Thanks, Hilda, you're a real lifesaver. Yes, that was really well done. <laughs> I'm just glad I could help. Now then, are you planning to change clothes before going to see Her Majesty? If you prefer, I can just show you the way now. I think I'm okay as is. Boy clothes, now! <laughs> oh, for the love of- why are you always so self-conscious? What is wrong with that hat you had on? Not an issue of self-consciousness. By the way, Hilda, is this your room? Is this room what I think it is? Yes, it is Princess Claudia's bedroom. But she rarely sleeps in the castle, so her room is all but unused. Huh, no kidding. I heard that the princess was tending to the queen. I guess that's just gossip, then. You'd have to ask Her Majesty for the full details. Her room is on the second floor of the Royal Keep. I'll take you there. It's always good to meet a person who knows they're in charge and can also still be very charismatic at, at, at it. I beg your pardon, Your Majesty. I've brought the two of I spoke before. This is Joshua and Estelle. Thank you kindly. By all means, enter. As you wish. I'll wait for you here. You two go on in. But right. Pardon us. Oh. <laughs> I bid you welcome. Wow, she does not look anything like she does in her uh, in the opening movie. My name is Alicia von Os Osles. I'm the 26th monarch of the nation of Liberal. Um, I'm Estelle Bright. I'm a junior bracer of the Bracer Guild. And I'm Joshua Bright, of the same affiliation. These two, honestly, just the way they speak and with those lines honestly makes me think of Bubs and ba uh, Babs and Buster Bunny. It's a great honor to meet you, Your Majesty, Estelle and Joshua. I've truly been looking forward to meeting you both. I regret that I cannot offer you proper hospitality, but I've prepared some tea. Please, have some and relax. I see, so Professor Russell asked you to bring this information. A pitch black orbment capable of negating all other orbital energies. Can you say that the Colonel has acquired it? The professor told us that you might have some idea of what, uh, what he intends to do with it, Your Majesty. Can you tell us anything? I have but a vague idea. I did not think that the Colonel even knew of it. Perhaps I'm worrying about nothing, but even so... Excuse me, but what is this vague idea you have? I suppose there is no harm in telling you. Roughly ten years ago, a massive orbital reaction was detected beneath Grand Cell. Professor Russell was the in individual who came to investigate. Hmm... Did this happen in the vicinity of the sewers? No, far deeper and underground than, in fact, than that, in fact. Professor Russell was under the impression that it still, uh, might be a relic of the ancients that still functioned. Wow. It was a bona fide artifact, then. Most artifacts I know of have lost their function, like the mechanisms on top of the towers. But every now and then, uh, now and again, you find one that still functions, like Mayor Dalmore's family heirloom. 
and something like that is beneath Grand Cell. But what does that tell us about the Gospel? Maybe it could be used to halt the artifact's functions? Could it do that? Yes. However, we were unable to establish the nature of the artifact, or indeed why it was buried beneath the city. But it is beyond my imaginings how the Colonel could know of its existence. Professor Russell's research on it was kept strictly confidential and off the record. I see. In any event, it seems likely that trouble is on the way. Honestly, just as I start to think uh, maybe the Colonel might be sli a slightly nicer guy than we were giving him credit for. But when someone's trying to stir us up in trouble, that's when us bracers come in. We won't let him get away with whatever evil scheme he's trying to pull off. <laughs> I'd expect no less from Cassius' daughter. You're acquainted with our father, your majesty? He was a friend of my late son's and a great savior to the nation. Even after he retired from the army, he would sometimes undertake requests for me. For me. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> I imagine there are a great many things about him you do not know. Including the precise ro role he played in the war ten years ago. I assume you have not been told? Well, nothing super detailed. Perhaps then, that is the role that I am meant to play, Estelle and Joshua. Will you indulge me by listening to an old story? Oh, yes, absolutely. It is no indulgence, your majesty. Ten years ago, in the spring, a tragedy occurred in the southern reaches of the Erebonian Empire. Its cause is yet unknown, so that is something I must omit. The Empire used that event as a pretext for their invasion of Liberal. So began the sad times that would become known as the Hundred Days War. Just as the Empire made its declaration of war, a massive military force breached the Hakan Gate. In what seemed like scant moments, all of Liberal became occupied territory, save for Grand Cell. It is said that the invasion force was three times the size of the entire Royal Army. The reinforcements from Calvard were too late to stop their advance. It was but a matter of time before Grand Sil II would fall. But two months after the outbreaks of hostilities, the war changed in a way that none could have imagined. Patrol airships had just been developed and were used to recapture Liberal's checkpoints, severing the Imperial Army's communications. The Royal Army then, uh set about recapturing the major regions one by one, using ships launched from Laston Fortress. Zeiss, Ruan, Bos, Roland. With their supply lines severed, the Erebonian forces occupying each re region were swiftly crushed. And the one behind this plan for a counteroffensive was none other than one Colonel Cassius Bright. It was your father, who was General Morgan's right-hand man at the time, as well as Colonel Richard's superior officer. Afterward, with the intercession of the Bracer Guild and the Septian Church, the war was brought to an end. But it was at this time that Cassius lost what he treasured most of all in the world. Lena, your mother, Estelle. That clock tower was destroyed in the Imperial Army's vein to hold back the counteroffensive. What followed? I'm sure you know. Cassius was not even able to be by his wife's side in her final moments. No, I had no idea. He believed that the military operation that he himself planned effectively caused her death. Blaming himself, he left the military and took up the path of the Bracer. All to stay with the one, only one he had left, you. At this time, he swore he would be, uh, be able to protect those he loved. God, that idiot. It wasn't his fault that Mom died. How could he even think that? Estelle. Yes, you are correct. Given that all he lost was in service to his country, the responsibility falls upon me. And so, I am sorry, Estelle. I failed to protect your mother. I have wished to apologize to you for a long time. But you don't need to apologize. You protected the peace of this country ever since the war ended. The peace that Dad and all other soldiers who defended Liberal in the war fought so hard to protect. 
and the piece that mom gave her life uh, for so I could live in it. You have nothing to be sorry for. Still, you have a kind heart and I'm grateful. It gladdens my heart to have finally met you in person. Now more than ever. Your Majesty. However, that is why... That is why I do not wish you to put yourself in danger. I would like you to, for you to remove yourself from any dealings with this matter. What? But, Julia, I, I mean, Lieutenant Schwarz asked us to help you. I thank you, but I am grateful for your willingness to do so. But if some tragedy were to follow you in Cassius' absence, I know of no apology that could ever suffice. I only ask that you go back to your, to your home in Roland and wait for your, fa your father to return. But, but... If I may, Your Majesty. <clears throat> the peace that Dad restored and that you protect... Though it has held firm, now trembles like a leaf in the breeze. Joshua. The Colonel is able to use the Gospel for whatever purpose he intends. And if he succeeds in making the Duke the new King of Liberal, then what will become of that peace? I only ask that you consider that. Her Majesty? Right when we became Junior Bracers, we inherited a whole lot of work from Dad. After the Sky Bandit incident, we got left. To, uh, we got that letter in the package, and we've been running all around creation ever since. Feels like to us, uh, like our dad's been nudging us in the back this whole time. That's why I want to defend peace, so that everyone we've met and everyone we care about can go on living secure and happy lives, just like you, and just like mom and dad. I'm doing this because I believe it's what. Uh, it's what I believe is right, and I really want to see it through. Estelle. It seems she was right about you, huh? I too am ready. I would like for you to carry my request to the Bracer Guild. Your Majesty! My liege, we will do whatever you ask. My request is for the Bracer Guild to rescue those being held captive by the Intelligence Division. Amongst them is my granddaughter, Claudia. Aha, huh, so the princess is being held captive somewhere. Yes. This coup d'etat started when I backed her as the, su as the successor to the throne. In other words, Duke Dunon was out of the running. Yes, though he is my nephew, he is possessed of a n considerable number of character flaws. In brief, where he is lacking, my granddaughter shines. For the sake of this nation's future, I would have my granddaughter succeed me. Well, um, I don't actually know her, but I personally lean towards the idea that your judgment should really be trusted here. No matter the era, there will always be those who object strongly to a woman wielding political power. Not to mention the memory of uh, the invasion by a larger for, uh, power is still relatively fresh. Some of them will perceive the succession of two consecutive queens to be a sign of weakness. It is hardly surprising that such a notion has taken root in the minds of some. Some, including Colonel Richard, I presume. Quite right. Claudia's, Claudia's pending succession to the throne caught him unawares. That, along with his information to the Duke, is what led to this coup. This was all staged so that Liberal would become a strong military power, with the Colonel ruling from the shadows. I see. That finally lets us see the whole picture. So, if Liberal became a militarized country, what would happen then? A great many things. Taxes would be levied to fill the war chest. Global weaponry would be developed with the express intent of, of causing havoc on a massive scale. A wide range of policy of conscription would be adopted. No doubt contracting Jaeger Corps would be made legal, which is not the case at present. Oh no! Indeed, the Colonel has made very adamant requests that I enact such policies. I thought that such proposals were born out of general love for his country. I never agreed that they were the right course of action to, ta uh, to take. The Royal Army is not all that protects this land. We've worked hard to maintain treaties with other countries. Defending a nation goes hand in hand with free cultural exchange and trade with all other nations to benefit of all. That is honestly smart foreign policy. It's hard foreign policy when you do have other nations with completely cultural differences that disagree with your own. 
But it's still, honestly, a good foreign policy. I feel the same way, Your Majesty. Yeah, makes sense to me. It makes sense in spirit, but very hard to actually properly apply. The Colonel, however, finds such notions to be womanly and foolishly idealistic. And so he demanded that I abdicate the throne in exchange for Claudia's safe return. Many people have had family members taken to ensure that they would not dare to oppose the Colonel. But I am the Queen, and I will not allow all that I love about my country to be destroyed, simply because of blood ties. Still, she is my only granddaughter. I cannot simply allow her to die. Your Majesty, please try to relax. We hear and comply with your request. We'll see to it that the princess is rescued from those who have imprisoned her. Thank you, both of you. With that reassurance, I will do all I can to oppose the colonel's demands. Um, have you any other requests, your majesty? The gospel still has to be dealt with. I don't think we should just uh, leave you here. I appreciate your sentiment, Estelle. But the present state of affairs is not contingent upon my freedom or imprisonment. The Gospel shall continue to weigh heavily on my mind, for a great many reasons. For my part, I will attempt to ascertain the Colonel's true intentions with it. <sighs> wow, what a totally awesome person! Super nice, but with a seriously strong will! I hope I'm even one-tenth that cool when I get old! <laughs> cool? Did you actually just call the Queen that? Still, she definitely has what it takes to govern a whole country. Yeah. I really want to stop this coup thingy and help her. That's definitely outside Bracer jurisdiction. Well, first things first, we do whatever we can. Right. But you know, I'm still freaking out about what the Queen told us about Dad. I wonder if she's got any more tidbits she'd be willing to tell. Or share. Estelle and Joshua, have you finished changing? Oh yeah. Then we should turn to the waiting room at once. It's already after 11 o'clock. Actually, it's almost midnight. Oh, is it really that late? The Queen spoke with us for a long time. If we stay any longer, it's apt to make the guards uh, suspicious. Alright, let's get out of here. Are you going home for the day, Miss Hilda? Yes, I believe so. Just be sure not to do Her Majesty any further discourtesy. That's not fair. But please relax. We are patriots to the core. That's good to hear. Now I believe that we shall be on our way. But pardon me. By your leave. By the way, ladies. I don't think we ever got your names. May we ask them? I, um... Lena, Shara, or Dorothy. Oh my goodness. Well... Hmm. <laughs> Hang on a second, I'm trying to remember who Lena is, actually. Who is Lena? Oh my goodness, I'm terrible. Who would actually be the closest to look like me? Lena is mom. Oh, right. Actually, yeah, that would work. <laughs> actually, no. That for... Actually, I don't know. You know what? Actually... Colonel Cat... Let's see, what does Colonel Richard actually know? He probably actually already knows that. Shara doesn't look anything like Estelle. And Dorothy... It is Dorothy. Let's go with Lena. Why, ah, isn't that a lovely name? It has a pleasant ring to it. I, uh, thank you very much. And how about you, miss? You may call me Karen. Karen, you say? That's a very pretty name. You're too kind, sir. I'm rather fond of it myself. Are you now? Oh, right. We're with Special Ops. My name is... I think that's just about enough. I sense an ulterior motive at work. No, I mean, at least not from us. Beep. Please be safe on your way home. Although I will say, I do like Shara. <laughs> uh, well, aren't you Mr. Popularity? It's like their eyes all changed when you told uh, told them your name. Hey, it was not... 
I didn't see you shying away from joining in the conversation. Sure, but that doesn't mean I wasn't nervous. Ugh, I kinda lost all my confidence here. <laughs> What's all this noise about? Oh no. No, it's the Duke. Oh, Duke Dunon. Ah, it's the lady of the court. Hey, you maids. You don't look familiar. These these are two of the new hires who I'm instructing. This is Lena, and that's Karen. They're still quite inexperienced, so I'm giving them some extra training time. Hmm? Does he recognize us? Not good. Given how many times we've run into him, it'd be bizarre if he didn't recognize us. Come now, Philip, enough with the staring. <laughs> it's quite unusual to see coming from you. Step up or lip and all. Please pardon my rudeness. You look li uh, you look much like my niece. My eyes were playing tricks on me, it seems. I'm dreadfully sorry for the discourtesy. Oh, it's no bother. Please don't concern yourself. You know, now that I stop and look, I must say that you both look quite lovely. You with the brown hair, you have a very healthy, clean look to you. <laughs> As for you, I virtually think that you'd look best with that raven hairs of yours even longer. I'm... I'm honored. Ah, uh, yes. Leto, as a dot, you shall attend me this evening. Uh... Your Grace? Ew, I don't want to serve him tea. I don't think tea is what he wants to be served. Your Grace, your flirtations while flatterous are best saved for another time and place. All of the maids in the castle work directly in the service of Her Majesty, Queen Alicia. I trust you've not forgotten? I know, I know. Some folks simply can't appreciate a joke. The castle will be mine in a week's time, anyway. We can set aside time for some fun, then. Your Grace, please no more of this. I do not mind when you drink to excess, but you, but you do know how your libido gets in such instances. I say, knowing full well that I may be reprimanded for it. But I said I was joking. Enough, I'm going to bed. As you wish, Your Grace. The room is right over there. Wow. Alright, Lena. You just let me know if you have any problems. Anything at all. I'll give you the best advice the future king can give. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Yes, good, good. Please fall over, please fall over. Damn. I apo apologize unreservedly for all the fuss. His grace will likely remember nothing of this come the morning. Please, set your minds at ease. should certainly hope so. I am truly sorry. Madame and young missus, I beg your pardon, but I must take my leave. You better get the you better get the bucket. They're gonna need a bucket. <sighs> I feel so badly for him. It truly really seems to bear the weight of the world on his shoulders. Oh, do you know Mr. Philip personally? Yes, ever since we were children. Though not nearly as well as we once did, thanks to the one he serves. I see. He sure seems like he's nervous all the time, doesn't he? I'll bet that everything between the Duke and the Colonel has him completely on edge. Probably, yeah. By the way, what was that about, uh, you were saying about me being the popular one? The Duke certainly seemed awfully fond of you. Ugh, please. I'd like to keep my food in my stomach, thank you. Oh right, back to before. I feel like I'm missing something. The Duke wants a tea so late. Uh, well, you see, Estelle, allow me to elucidate the matter of tea and why gentlemen should never request it in polite company. Huh? I'm closer. <laughs> I'm glad they take the time with this stuff. Now do you understand? Uh, yes. Hopeless. Completely hopeless. There's never anything wrong with being innocent. Thanks for everything, both of you. If not for you, I don't know what we'd have done. Please, it was the least we could do in Her Majesty's service. I only ask that you complete the request she made of you. Uh, I feel the same way. 
I beg of you, do everything in your power to save the princess. Oh, are you one of her royal retainers? Yes, I regret that I rarely get the chance to serve her directly. She's so kind and open. She's always treated me more like a friend than a servant. But, thoughts of, but the thought of her being captive keeps me up at night. I understand. Well, you can rest, uh, rest easy now, now that we're on the job. We'll save her. Shall we be going? And I think that does it for us in finding out her plan. What might I inquire are you doing at this late hour? <sighs> Captain Amalthea. <laughs> Good evening. I realize you've been invited here. But don't you think it's a bit uh, late for you kids to be walking around? Please pardon us. We've simply never been in a castle like this, and we couldn't resist the urge to take a look around. Oh, that's certainly understandable. So where were you, half an hour ago? Please enlighten me, if only for my edification. Uh... Uh, aid quarters, administrative room, royal guard room, cellar... Uh, there's not many a good answer for that. But we could tell her the truth. Let's tell her the truth. Ha, huh, I admire your honesty. But let's not waste time on games. I did in fact receive several reports of you going in and out at the maid's quarters. Do you not think it a bit odd to be looking around in that particular place? What? You don't think that questioning someone like that when you already have the facts is a little cruel? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. So what business have you in the maid quarters? I suggest you answer honestly. Well, we... Oh, Estelle, Joshua! You've been here the whole time? <laughs> Sin! Ooh, now that's the stuff. You're drunk. Oops, hey, sorry. And hey, if it ain't my favorite gorgeous officer lady. Nice, and luck we meet up again, eh? I suppose. So, what's going on? Are my students here causing any trouble? S students? No, it's just that they were in the maids' quarters for quite a while. I merely wanted to know their business simply as a security precaution. Hmm, yeah, I totally get ya. I just sent them out to find some munchies to go with my booze. Hey Joshua, you kids find anything to eat? No, the cooks aren't back yet, I guess. We wouldn't, ask, uh, we wouldn't ask the maid if there was any we can get our ha hands on or something, but no luck. Ah, uh, oh well. I guess I'll have to do without, I guess. Hey, I just had a great idea. You wanna come join me for a drink? I mean, hey, nothing goes with drinks like a beautiful lady. I I'm afraid I'm busy. I'll have to decline your generous offer. Apologies for your for the misunderstanding. I would advise you to return to your room and remain there for the rest of the night. To investigate any su suspicious activity. You understand? Uh, of course. It is late. We should probably just get to bed. Haha, <laughs> very good then. Now if you'll excuse us. Okay, I, I would honestly like to know how Zinn knows to actually ca uh, make a story like that. Ah, uh, denied. Oh well, might as well get back to the room. R right, we'll go with you. Gotta man that gigantic and hold his liquor. <clears throat> Looks like we managed to convince her, at least. Huh? Sin, aren't you drunk? I was acting drunk. I haven't had a single drop. No way, your face had even gone all red. He focused on making his blood circulate better, which made him look like he was intoxicated. It's done with some kind of Eastern martial arts breathing exercise, right? Huh, I'm surprised you're familiar with it. But hey, you seem to be in a tight spot, so I figured I'd distract everyone. Nice, huh? Save your bacon, as the saying goes. <laughs> For an evil, evil man's in. Okay, sure, you did help us out, but you also surprised the hell out of me. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, what's the story? What story? I would have thought it'd be obvious. The story of you meeting with the Queen. Whoa, wait, what? How did you know? Did Elnon tell you something about this? Actually, I couldn't get him to tell me anything. But now I know anyway, don't I? I like Zin even more now. <laughs>
I like Zin and I like a gate. The kind of guys I want to have a drink with. Without prior knowledge, there's no way you could have just guessed. So how much do you really know? <laughs> I guess it's finally time to show you this. Then produce a letter from his pocket and hand to Estelle and Joshua. What's this? I know this handwriting. Well, don't just stand there. Read it. It'll explain a lot. Okay. Dear Zen, Zen Vethek, I hope this letter finds you well. I know I've been out of touch. I'm in a hurry, so I'll hope you'll pardon my bluntness. My work concerning the Jaegers is leading me into Imperial territory. However, due to the fact that unusual forces seem to be influencing matters inside Liberal, I feel uneasy being absent for so long. This is why I must ask a favor of you. That I persuade you to come to Liberal and help out if they need it. Since you haven't been to Liberal before, perhaps you could think of it as a recreational tri trip. There's a martial arts competition before the Queen's birthday celebration, and foreigners can participate. It would make a fine camouflage. I realize that this is sudden, but if you can do it, I would be most grateful. I maintain to return to Liberal before the festival, so hopefully we'll be able to have a drink together when I return. Cassius Bright. Yes, you may have the chance to meet my son and daughter. <laughs> They're currently apprentices at the guild, so if you happen to meet them, feel free to test the extent of their training. Try not to bail them out too much. Well, it seems like they really need it. Okay, Dad has good advice. I... So Dad actually asked you to come to Liberal. Which means he's in Erebonia now. That's the long and short of it. The long and short of it? What it means is that you were in cahoots with him all along. That's a kind of nasty way to put it, don't you think? I owed Master Cassius a favor from the time he spent in Calvard. This letter just gave me the chance to make the us square again. I suppose... When did you realize that we were his kids? I had the feeling from the outset once I saw Estelle's techniques with a bow staff. I asked Kilika about it, and that confirmed it. it. Would've been nice if he'd said something about it at all. I've been worried sick wondering where Dad's been. I know, and I'm sorry I haven't said anything. But I got the impression from the letter he was trying to keep his whereabouts a secret. Still, you're definitely his kids, all right. You can pull off a job as big as sneaking in, in an audience with the Queen. I, I suppose so. He knows this much, it wouldn't hurt to tell him everything, right? I agree. It'd probably be best to fill Zin in on everything. It is a bit far-fetched to say that we could pull uh, an end to this whole situation on our own, after all. I see. I thought of something, uh, I thought something seemed a little off when everyone was talking at the party. Alright then, I'll help you out with that little request. What? You will? Yep, I think this is the ideal opportunity to settle my debt with Master Cassius. Yeah, saving an entire nation-state is a pretty good way to settle a debt. Please, let me help. We'd, we'd be glad to. Thank you once again. Wait. Then what about Olivier? What is this place? I never would have imagined that something like this have even existed. I'm guessing this is under the sewers of Liberal. Aha, uh -huh, it's larger than I expected. Lieutenant Lawrence, if you would be so kind as to show us the way to the lowest level. Yes, sir. Whoa! Is that some kind of mechanical monster? Well, well, these must be the Arca... Uh, Arcaisms. Holy shit! Took out that thing in one stroke! <laughs> you are the quickest to react. You are indeed truly a force to be reckoned with when you don't hold back. You flatter me, sir. Your quick draw technique as well was quite remarkable to behold. I can see that you've studied under the Divine Blade himself. I am humbled. <laughs> I still have a ways to go before I can really humble anyone, I'm afraid. The time waits for no man. The skills I possess now will have to be enough. My strength may be meager, but I must forge this kingdom's future with my own two hands. 
My brave men, the way to the ultimate power is open. A bright dawn, new dawn approaches for our beloved liberal. I expect only the best of each of you. By your orders, sir. We are the special ops for work as one for the colonel. For the glory of liberal. For the glory of liberal. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. And I think that's what Cass, I think that's what uh, Colonel Richard is doing. I understand the situation. We both performed admirably. I'm amazed that you're able to deliver the professor's message to Her Majesty in person. <laughs> we just got lucky is all. The real question is, how much longer is luck going to be on our side? Yes, we really are going to have to stay focused. If you understand that, then there's no, nothing more I, that, that I need to tell you. In any case, we can consider Professor Russell's request to be fulfilled. Please accept this as compensation for a job well done. This game buries you in money at the end. Now then, Zin. It was pure providence that Cassius invited you here. We need the help of an a rank bracer like yourself. No need to even ask. Even if I didn't have a debt to repay Cassius, I couldn't possibly stand by, uh, idly by in a situation like this. I'm with you until the end. I knew we could count on you, Zin. By the way, what's this A-rank business? It's a rank that signifies a full-fledged bracer's full power. There are seven ranks ranging from G on the bottom and A to the top. So he's the highest rank you can get? Wow, I never knew you were such a badass, Zin. <laughs> well, I may be A-rank, but I'm still an underling, so to speak. There are 20 A-rankers across the continent. But above that, that's an informal S rank. There's only one, uh, that one's only granted to bracers who successfully resolve issues on a national scale. And there were only four of those on the entire continent. Oh, I'm not even sure I, I even want to think about what they can do. <sighs> you really don't know any of this stuff, do you? One of those four is Master Cassius. What? Okay, Joshua, you're not going to tell me you already knew already know about this, right? Right? Sorry, but yes, I did. I solved a major case for the Republic about five years ago. <sighs> I swear it's hardly worth even getting upset about anymore. Royal Army Soldier, Hidden Hero, Divine Blade, S rank Bracer. He's really so damned awesome, it would sure be <laughs> it would sure be nice if he'd come back and take care of this case. <laughs> you may be right. If he were with us, perhaps this would never have escalated to the point where a coup d'etat was even possible. Joshua, what's wrong? Just thinking about how strange this is. All change events apparently started with Dad going off on his trip. It's as if whoever planned this coup was waiting for him to be gone. At least, just the impression that I have. Oh! So what you're saying is the coup was planned around his departure for the Empire. Am I correct? No, I'm sure that would be overthinking things. I can't think anyone who could possibly manipulate Dad like that without him noticing he was being used. I'd have to know his behavior patterns exceptionally well to be able to pull it off. Hmm, well, yeah. I never knew what he was up to, even though he was so close. I don't think that Colonel Richard could have ever managed to pull the wool over his eyes. More likely, it's just the two major events have happened to overlap with each other. Regardless of the circumstances, we cannot currently rely on Cassius to help. Therefore, I am resolved to prepare for the worst. I believe an emergency con uh, conference of the Grand Cell branch of the Bracer Guild is called for. Huh? All the other things being equal, we have a request that comes directly from Her Majesty the Queen. The third article of the Bracer Code states that we shall never act in fashion that interferes with the government. We cannot ignore Her Majesty's uh, request, however, so we must act. But we're no match for the Royal Army as we are. I ask the cooperation of all braces in the Grants in Grand Cell, including Zinn, of course. Oh, okay. If we come in conflict with, uh, conflict with the Intelligence Division, we'll need all the help we can get. Ideally, we should have up the copper up uh, blah, 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 the cooperation of other branches. But the checkpoints have been sealed, uh, completely sealed off as of today, ostensibly to foil any potential terrorist activity. What? So basically, it amounts to martial law. But the enemy is finally moving at full tilt. 
This may be to stifle any activity on the part of Royal Guardsmen in hiding as well as ourselves. If we're going to conduct a rescue operation, we'll have to do it with the resources on hand. Oh, fun, but we're up to it. But where do we so do we have a solid idea of where the prisoners are being held? That's been on from uh, that's been on my mind for a while now, actually. I believe the most likely place is to be the Arab Royal Villa. It's the building in the forest, right? That would make sense. If the soldiers are using it as a pretense for counterterrorism, few would question it. I can't imagine they'd want to lock a lady of the royal family in a cell uh, in a cell in Lacey Fortress. Considering it's the army we're going to uh, going to be going against here, I'd like a more solid confirmation. However, if we assaulted the wrong place, we'd have hell to pay for it. Yes, precisely. But in either case, we must assemble any bracers currently in the royal city. If I ask you to assemble them here for me, any information you can gather while doing so would be much appreciated. If I'm not mistaken, Estelle, you are uh, you and your friends are acquainted with a reporter, correct? Oh, you mean Yal? Yeah, we should see if he's picked up any, anything significant. Also, we must attempt to enlist the aides of the guardsmen who are in hiding. If you can get uh, get them to contact me, it would be greatly appreciated. So in other words, we get in touch with Sister Julia. He helped us with the invitation before, so we should let her know what's going on. Off to the cathedral, then? There are four of the bracers in the city. Kurt, Grant, Karna, and Enlace. Check the bars in their usual hangouts. They may also be in the hotel. If you see them, please instruct them to come back here. Sure thing. Alright then, off we go. It is a shame you can't buy Sepeth in this game. It really is, honestly. Well, why don't we actually start with the bar? And see who's here. Hey, it's Grant. Excellent. Hey, it's Grant. Well, well, if it isn't the big bad champions. I hear you guys spent the night at the castle. Frankly, I'm surprised to see you back so early. Becca GM, thank you very much for the host, man. How are you guys doing tonight? Let's see. Maktai, MacGM. What are you guys doing streaming so late? Wait, let me guess. Either one of two things. Actually, maybe three things. Let me guess three things. One, uh, Warframe. Two, Nintendo Online. Or three, Capcom beat em ups. Those are my three guesses. If I'm wrong in all counts, you can say I'm wrong. I'm guessing, <laughs> I personally am leading more towards Warframe as of late because, well, you've been playing a lot of Warframe. But the new releases did come out. Ah, of course, I forget you've also streamed Star Trek Online. I hope your entire inventory gets eaten by triples. <laughs> but I'm here streaming uh, Beat the Backlog. We are beating the RPG, The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. This is effectively the first chapter of three for the series. I actually really miss Star Trek. As, like, Star Trek The Next Generation, I never got into uh, the original series. Because obviously I was way too young to actually watch it. But I greatly enjoyed The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. But, unfortunately, it just hasn't been the same. But I think that's part of it is just because once you grow up, delivering philosophical drama isn't really the same as it was back then. Even though, it, like, you honestly look back on it and you kind of see how some of the things are just kind of really corny, but you can see they definitely put a lot of effort into it. But we are actually, I'm hoping, near the end of our adventure. I'm assuming after tonight we probably have one more stream. But I'm guessing. Do you need anything? But right now we're, so to kind of catch you up to speed right now what we're doing, we're recruiting pretty much everyone we can to rescue a bunch of prisoners and the princess. Yes, there's a princess in distress and we must rescue her. Deal with it! Did you eat anything good? Yeah, we did, but that's not what we wanted here to talk about. Oh, something on your mind? Holy crap, you're not pulling my leg, are you? We are not, every word is true. I'd stake my reputation on it. If Sin the Immovable is moved by this, that's all the proof I need. Do whatever I can to help. You can count on it. Thanks, Grant. We'll be meeting at the Gale House to plan our strategy as soon as possible. So please head there when you can. Understood. 
Go well, friends. I'll, I'll catch uh, catch up with you there. You know, Voyager wasn't that bad, honestly. It really, like, I, I did watch some of Voyager. I never got to fall through to the end, but I could see... I could see where it kind of falls apart. Because they really did shake things up a lot. And... Ah, Karna, sweet. Hi, Karna. Hey, look who it is. Oh, you've got old man Zin with you. What's going on? Well, it's a long story. Uh-oh, sounds serious. Uh... You're not just pulling my leg, are you? I must admit, I did find it a bit odd that all the gates and ports uh, such has been shut down. So what did you want with me, exactly? Well, we need to get everyone together and formulate a plan. So if you would, please meet us at the guild. Gotcha. I'm already there. Honestly, that doesn't really surprise me too much. That really honestly doesn't surprise me too much. Remember, this is... Even though they, this is like an intelligence division, it's still not a place that exactly screams... I guess the kind of world we live in now, where everything's under observation 24-7. This isn't like everyone's pulling up pictures everywhere. Like... I'd probably say the closest in terms of age I could think of would be, like... Hmm... I honestly want to say, like... A little bit of post-industrial revolution. Or, like, post-World War One, where, where technology was really starting to take off. But yet the world is still small enough that people can actually, um... That people can actually, uh... Effectively get away with things. But no, I do miss Star Trek. Like, Star Trek was always a fun watch. With me- with my family. Uh, let's get to... I guess the coffee house, actually. The heck are the what the heck is the other two? Well, let's go see if Nial maybe maybe Nial knows. This is weird, Chief. I haven't heard anything in two days. Hmm. Well, he does tend to get completely wrapped up when he's looking for the next big story. But given how close we are to a state of martial law, I don't much like that he hasn't contacted us either. Hmm. Oh, hi guys. Hello, Dorothy. Pardon us. Hey, it's the Tournament Champions. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Liberal News. Y'all and Dorothy have told me quite a bit about the two of you. Estelle and Joshua of the Bracer Guild, right? Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've always enjoyed your magazine. Haha, <laughs> well, that's always good to hear. Weren't you two doing something for Nial? Oh, uh, yes. That's what we were just talking about. Actually, Nial hasn't shown up here today or yesterday. No word from him or anything. Huh? Yesterday or today? I spoke with him in the evening two days ago. But really? What do you mean, really? You gave us the message to meet him for Ideos' sake. I came to talk to him after the semifinals. Oh, right. Now that you mention it. So, did he say anything to you? Like where he was going? Uh, crap, I'm trying to remember. Oh, we did go out to dinner. Yeah, I think someone just called him. Right, I remember what happened. He got a call from someone and then said he had to leave. Are you serious? Yes. I haven't seen hide nor hair of him since. Oh no, I can't believe Nial's dead. What? Who said he was dead? Days when all the airliner traffic gets shut down. I think it was normal yesterday, so maybe he went out to another province. I already inquired at the landing port's passenger re uh, registry. There was no sign of him. But I figured he still has to be somewhere in town. Hmm. You two were the last ones to see this reporter fellow. Weren't you talking to him about for uh, something for a news article? Huh? There are times. These are the times we live in. Controlling the media is a big deal for the military. What do you think, Chief? I certainly can't argue with that. 
Particularly in the case of the Intelligence Division, they monitor and censor everything we do. We can't even use the word white ban in our articles anymore. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how frustrating it is. Which means you can't get much information for your stories. But it's reporter's nature to get as much as possible into the hands of the readers. I see. So we went to check out a new subject that the Intelligence Division hasn't started censoring yet. What was the thing he told us about? I think it was about... Uh... Yeah, Julian Canon's history. I know Richard's aide-de-camp and a woman in the Guardsmen were rivals in the military academy. Which is inter interesting, but wouldn't have the Intelligence Division have already made that connection? Oops, so oh, yeah, so he probably couldn't print a story about that. I think I have an idea. We all seem particularly interested in the marriage prospect for the princess. Yeah. And the Duke mentioned something about it at the dinner party. Oh, and y'all told you about that too? It'd make for a hell of a story if it's true. He mentioned having to get some evidence at any cost. How did a reporter like Nial even learn something about, uh, about something like that? I'd have thought that something like that would only be known to the royal family. Well, he did say he's friends with someone who works at the Arab Royal Villa. Completely off the record, but the terrorists are supposedly after the princess. So she's secretly staying in the villa for her own safety. I knew it! Ah, and the veil is lifted. Maybe the person he was talking to was his friend in the villa. Which means that Nial's probably there too. I don't say. Well, if I know Nial, he probably tried to worm his way in for an interview with the princess. If the soldiers saw him, they'd have arrested him on the spot. No, Nial's a goner. Why do you keep coming back to that? And if he has been arrested, getting him out isn't going to be easy. Yeah. I'm betting he and the Princess Claudia are pretty much in the same situation. What exactly do you people know? You ha have inside information about what's going on in the city? In all of Liberal? I'm sorry, but I really can't talk about it. Let the Brewster Guild take care of Nial. If he has been arrested, we'll see to it that he's released. Alright. Please do whatever you can. Please, you guys. Gotta bring Nial back. Leave it to us. Yes, let us bring back our smoking, booze-drinking reporter back. He does a better job than Spider-Man ever could. But back to the question, where the heck are the two bracers? I... Where the heck would Anne Lace be? Maybe she's... maybe she's a rich girl. Oh. Only other place I could think of would be on the other side of town. This is the only part of RPGs that I actually enjoy, but streaming is definitely the kind of thing you really wish you just knew where you wanted to go. Because it makes for a whole different experience. Where the heck are those? Ah, there we go, perfect! I knew someone would be here. Well, if it isn't Sin and the new recruits. I like the way she looks the best. Back from the castle already? Well, yeah, I guess we are. And Lice, could we have a moment of your time? Hmm? You hear something juicy you looking to share with me? Well, if by juicy you mean spit your juice all over in shock, then yeah. It's a real juice bomb. Ooh, you have my undivided attention. Should we be talking about this here, or should I be sitting down for it? Huh? Just to make it absolutely clear, this isn't a joke. This th things could get serious in a big hurry, and if they do, we'll need your help. Let's see... Sorry, my head's just a little scrambled for how screwed up this whole situation is. I don't really get all of this, but you guys want everyone to meet up at the Guildhouse, right? Right, Elnon will fill you in on all the details. Okay then, I'll go see what's up. Well, that only leaves Hawk, so where the heck could he be? That's... Where the heck would he be, actually? Well, I would... Well, maybe the arena. Nope, can't get into the Grand Arena. Hmm... He's not at the arena, he's not at the department store. 
Where would I be if I were him? I can check the park. That might be the way. I don't know. Actually, let me ask you guys. When was the last time you guys actually played an RPG? Let's see. Nope. Ooh, excuse me. <sighs> hmm. Guards. Nope. Nope. More soldiers. Who the heck would he be? Oh, hello. Might just be a chance. Oh, it never came off to me as the learned sort. I expect to meet the Professor R here. Over anyone else. Oh, not Professor R. Uh, oh my god, I'm already forgetting my character's names here. And absolutely nothing. That's kind of a shock. Hey, Professor. Professor Alba, that's who. if we're talking about RPGs in general. There have been a lot of RPGs that have been released, and a lot of RPGs now with a lot more playtime. Right, wrong button. Wait. Okay. It's like, wait a minute, I thought I pressed select for a second. Oh, hotel, duh. Well, he's gotta be in one of these rooms, then. Can't believe I forgot the one last piece. Now I have to explore this entire hotel before I go to the church. Uh, let me see here. Kurt, the bracer has returned. At least a bit on the pallet side. What the heck is wrong with him? I don't know why I called him Hawk. He seems like a hawk. Not the time to be played hide and seek. Kurt? Kurt, you're worrying me. There you are. I wish I could remember that time a little better. It's like there's a thick fog blanketing the whole thing. Oh, hi Kurt. It's good to see you here. Hi Estelle, hi Joshua. Oh, Sin's with you too? Didn't you know that we were going to that dinner party at the castle yesterday? That was when these two rookies took me on a pretty major assignment. What major assignment? I think it's best if we tell you the, uh, more or less the whole story. We're serious? Of course we are. That's why we really need your help. No, that's not it. I admit I'm shocked at Her Majesty's request of you. The black orbment that the Colonel has. It's real? Hurt? What's wrong? You look awfully pale. Ugh. Ah. Oh, what in the world? Hmm, step away from him. Huh? Ah... Uh, shade? <laughs> Lift! What was that? I didn't even touch him and he acted like he got electrocuted. A special ch special channel... Uh, blah, a special channeling breathe technique. It allows the user to directly affect the target's body without direct physical contact. I don't normally like to be so rough. Uh, time is exactly on our side. How are you feeling? <sighs> wow, actually a lot better. Can't remember every detail, but a good bit of it's coming back. Still a little unsteady from the shock, but I think I'll be alright. What do you remember? Didn't I say uh, before? That was in it. That accident around three months ago. You lost your memories while you were working, right? Yes, someone had asked me to check up on those men in the black outfits. And then I took something suspicious from them. It was the Black Orbment. So the person who gave you the assignment... Yes, it was your father, Cassius. I wasted no time in packaging it up and sending it to him. That's really as far back as I can remember. So the K on that package was you? Yes. 
think I also remember there being a note to have Professor Russell analyze it. Get it, the package was delivered to you two. Do you remember anything after that? Anything that happened after you sent off the package? Yes, after I left the port, someone called out to me. And then... It's no good, it's still one big blur. You're probably best off not pressing your luck. Like to cause strain that you can't handle yet. Yes, alright. I'm really just amazed I was able to remember anything at all. It brings us the bigger question. Who would have done this? Maybe those special ops guys? It's possible. Did they use that nest they did use that nasty poison on a gate after all. As if they're manufacturing and testing new drugs. Maybe they've made something to cause memory loss. Ugh, now there's a cheerful thought. Plus, the Sky Bandit's boss and the mayor of, uh, and the mayor Dalmore to consider. You really have to be careful. I'm sorry, I really I don't have anything really useful to tell you. I do know that Her Majesty asks you to do. If you want help, if you, I want to help if you'll let me. But are you sure you'll be okay? Sure, my memory may, may be like a sheave, but physically I'm fine. I owe you for your help, so please allow me to make it up to you. If you're feeling up to it, sure. We need to work out a strategy. For now, let's get uh, let's meet back at the guild. All right, you have my thanks. Ah, so he was the bracer. Well, there's only one person left to meet. Makes me actually wonder. Oh, wrong area. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Ow! I am way off in where I need to be. I am very way off in where I need to be. There we go. Final destination, the Grand Cell Cathedral. So what game were you playing, Ganahan, then? Are you looking for Sister Ellen, perchance? The Archbishop which, uh, Bishop should know whereabouts. He should be in the sacramental chamber to the southeast of this room. Okay. And who might you be? Um, we're members, uh, of the Bracers. Uh, the Bracer Guild, I mean. We were looking for Sister Ellen? Where are you now? Might I guess that you share complicity with her then? With a nun? Ew, no! Just asking if we know her real identity, Estelle. We're here with information she asked us to find. I'm sorry to say she's no longer at the cathedral. She came to say goodbye to me this morning and left. Where to? I mean, do you know where she might have gone? If only I did! I've been close with the royal family for many years and she's always regarded me as a friend and confidant. But this time, she refused to give me any details. He no doubt wished to keep the church from getting too deeply involved in whatever is occurring. I see. I wouldn't worry, though. She had the light of hope in her eyes as she departed. I'm confident she was not running away to wallow in despair, but a more noble cause. Well, that's good, at least. But the thing is, we kind of need to stay in touch with the Royal Guardsmen. Well, begging for rain in the desert only gets you sa sand. We should probably go. The best thing we could do is covertly keep an eye out for other Royal Guardsmen. Not to uh, not the most efficient plan, but it seems that's all we've got. You seem to be between a rock and a hard place, as they say. Always remember that Ideos helps those who help themselves. Do all that you can and Ideos will surely take care of the rest. Hard and honest work will always lead you down the, the right path. Also good advice. Xenoblade 2 DLC came out last Friday. Man, that is... See, that's actually the one thing I really have liked about streaming RPGs, actually, is because I finally get to get back in touch in playing with RPGs. And I really miss actually making the time to play them, because I love the stories, I love the characters, and it's just really, really enjoyable. But on the inverse side... The, or the onslaught of game releases for 2018, 2017, and honestly, for the past decade, honestly, has absolutely destroyed my chances of really kind of playing catch-up with a lot of RPGs. 
and especially as of late, I was really hoping... Not, not so much to be able to stream more RPGs, but just be able to play a lot more current RPGs. But the fact I ran into a bit of a terrible situation of this year prevented me of doing so. Which is why I honestly beat the backlog for this RPGs. I've actually fallen back more on playing RPGs that I have in my backlog instead of the latest releases. The other braces are already assembled. Have you heard from the Royal Guardsman or the Reporter? Sorry, sir. No contact. But we believe we gathered the intelligence we need. I see. That can conclude with a fair certainty that, then, the Princess Claudia is inside the villa. It's unfortunate that you were unable to make the contact with the Royal Guardsman. But at least we now know they haven't been captured. Can we get started, then? Yes. We need to start working out the details of the rescue operation. Are we all up to date on the per uh, pertinent details of the Intelligence Division's planned coup d'etat then? Given this information, we consider ourselves under contractual obligation to Queen Alicia. Can't, I can barely believe what I'm hearing. I'm ashamed of myself for not noticing something that was amiss sooner. I was suspicious of those special ops troops from the very beginning, but I really trusted Colonel Richard. And he was behind the Sky Bandits and Mayor Dalmore. We completely got snowed. We can't, and we, sh and we can't let them get away with it, that's for sure. Can you all be counted to cooperate in this assignment? Damn straight! Just lead the way. I owe these guys some black eyes, rhyme and unintended. Count me in for sure. This is gonna be good. We've got strong, strong allies. We'll prevail, without a doubt. But let me explain the details of this mission. We have to move fast, as there are lives at stake here. Not the most elegant approach, but I believe taking control of the villa through a frontal assault is our best option. We don't have time to uh, find some route to infiltrate, so I guess that's the only option we got. How will we be divided? We'll split into two groups, a decoy team and a rescue team. The decoy team will draw attention to the main forces, and while the rescue team makes way into the villa. Remember though, we're dealing with a special intelligence division special ops here. If I may, I'd like to suggest we also add an ambush team, to aid the decoy team and second decoy team to assist the rescue team. Man, we're really uh, teaming with teams here. Why do we need those? The ambush team would lie in wait until the decoy team draws them out of the enemy forces and both teams could attack at once. Meanwhile, the second decoy team would attempt to break the enemy's ranks, allowing the rescue team to enter the villa more easily. Ah, yeah. I guess that's a good point. It even say odds a little bit. But do we have enough members to spread among four squads? No, we don't. We've contacted other guild branches. With the airship grounded, we're pretty much on our own. Well, crap. Only Shara and Gate. However, I agree with Zin trying uh, to carry out this operation with only two squads is risky. We may need to re-examine the strategy. If numbers is all you lack, maybe we can be of assistance. Hey, Lieutenant Schwarz! Well now, it isn't sister military. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I'm Royal, Royal Guardsman Subcommander Lieutenant Julius Schwarz. Royal Guardsmen are here at your disposal for this operation. Understood. Your participation will be most invaluable. I count nine soldiers in your squad, including yourself. My remaining troops are incognito, stationed through all throughout the city. I can assemble them within the hour. That's great, but Lieutenant Schwarz, how did you know we were going to try and save the hostages? I tried to find you at the cathedral and tell you, but you had already disappeared. Did you? My apologies. All I knew was that you hadn't accepted the Queen's mission. I found out last night. Last night? We only just met the Queen last night ourselves. Yes, I'm aware of that. We have sources for military intelligence for this sort of, th of this sort. All that matters now is that Her Highness gave us the order to assist, and we're happy to do it. Sources? I want sources. Can I share some of yours? Um, I don't. Let's leave it at no, Estelle. 
More importantly, the Guardsman Assistance will give us the extra forces we need to fill the ambush and support team. Indeed, with this additional manpower, I believe our chance of success has increased exponentially. And with the extra manpower secured, we should start deciding on teams immediately. Roger that. You need two decoy teams, right? I believe five of my troops should be sufficient for one team. Yeah, I'd say those Royal Guard uniforms definitely catch their attention. My thoughts exactly. We'll target the Intelligence Division's aerial squadron stationed just on the outskirts of Arab scenic route. Wait a second, aerial squadron? You don't mean... I'm afraid she does. It's on the scenic route's outskirts. Not that you mention it, there is a stretch of land out there that's been completely blockaded. According to my intelligence, there is only a skeleton crew of guards stationed there. If we attack, I'll have no alternative but to call the villa for reinforcements. Oh, I get it. Some good decoying right there. There is a lot of text to this stream and adventure, and I apologize because I actually do appreciate the combat in this game. Because <laughs> I really do want to enjoy it. But unfortunately, the plot is at its end, and man, they really want to... Okay, let's just put it this way. Falcom Games have never been afraid of taking this time to tell a story. They never have, they never will, and it's probably why I actually appreciate them. And then we re and then the reinforcements show up and the ambush team pops in and takes them all out, right? We should form that ambush team then. I knew all those years of hunting down monsters in the bush would pay off one day. And we've got a gunner too, so we'll be able to handle this no problem. Alright, two teams locked down. For the rescue and decoy too. I think the second decoy team should also be comprised of my guardsmen. Special Ops will definitely drop their guards more readily to apprehend them. So that leaves us for the rescue team. All the other teams will be acting to provide cover for us. Ours will be far more important assignment on the field, by far. This is no game. You're playing an actual role in a crucial turning point for our history. Let's make sure you're up to the task. Sheesh, no pressure. Hmm, there's no need to worry. We will persevere. History favors the just. Besides, you guys are Grand Cell's martial arts cha comp uh, competition champions. And we'll be the ones keeping the majority of the en enemy force busy. Hopefully, you'll need, uh, you'll need to worry about all the hostages. Julia, Anon, Sin, I... We, Estelle. The word you're looking for is we. We can do this, and we will. You're right. We are so right, and we're gonna kick some special ops special asses. That's the spirit, and that's the plan. The operation will begin at nightfall. We'll use the dark for cover. Once the operation begins, you won't have any opportunity to return to the city. So if you still have loose ends to tie up now, uh, tie up, speak now, or forever hold your peace. Man, this is getting pretty real. I will ensure that Her Highness is made aware of the plan. Alright, everyone. Tonight here. Got it? Well, I'm I'm no I don't have any more time to wait, so let's do this. Yeah, like I said, I like, honestly, one of the games I actually wanted to do. I'm not gonna be able to, I don't think I'll be able to actually pull it off. But the only game, the only game right now, actually two games on my list right now, I've unfortunately one text stream, were Ease 8 and Ease 4. Ah, you're here, good. Once the operation, operation begins, you won't have any opportunity to return to the city. Actually, no. There is one thing I can do. And since we actually have so much money, there is actually one place here I should actually go and buy. We're buying food. We're buying food, and we're buying potions. I am not taking any chances here. 15 should be fine. Uh, what were the other ingredients for the oatmeal here? Because if any of my characters get KO'd, I want them back in action here. Uh, apparently seeds. I think that's actually a, um... I don't think I can get prickly seeds, can I? I cannot. That's a shame. But, I can definitely get some more red peppers and such. I don't think I'll have 5,000 HP, so we'll buy some more crisp, uh, crisp onions then. I actually do appreciate the cooking in this game. Eh, better buy some more, actually. Let's see... Oh, that's too many. 
buy another one. So if I see... Do I have the ingredients for anything else? Fresh eggs, that's oatmeal. We definitely need to buy more of those. Red peppers. I want more of that. Is that all the ingredients I can buy for this? I guess it is. That's a bit of a letdown, honestly. Oh well, that's all we can buy there. And the other thing we can buy, I believe, is right here. Hey, new liberal news. Why not? This was the thing I actually have kind of been starving for through this adventure. Oh my god, I could buy so much of this. My god, I could just buy everything here. Repair a neutralized orbment? What the heck is a neutralized orbment? Oh, cures mute. Okay. Reviving balm. We're, we're really just going money crazy here. This is the point of the game where they probably actually wanted you to buy uh, armor and weapons and such. And we'll buy a bunch of these, just in case. I have no regrets spending that much money, actually. Anything else I can buy that's better here? Actually, no, I can do this. I don't think... yeah, okay. I have all the money in the world, it does not matter. Bracer Guild apparently gave me 100,000 gold. It doesn't matter if I overspend. Prevent sleep, prevent freeze. That's actually... Freeze has actually been very useful. Freeze is also very deadly in this game. There we go. Now we have what we need. Now I feel comfortable. Save our game here, and let's head out here, because I do really want to try and actually do this rescue operation. It's also kind of the reason why I've actually been, um, starting streams a little bit earlier. And I do actually want to try and squeeze in as much time as I can. Alright, we're ready. Understood. Review the operation. So, are we going to meet back here? Well, this is the Ambrose Monument rest area. So this should be the place. The only real issue is whether or not Lieutenant Schwartz and her men can get here undetected. No need to worry about that. Whoa, what did you get here? Ah, nice work staying hidden in Grand Cell. We have quite a few sympathizers among the citizens. We finished our preparations. We can begin whenever you're ready. All right. We're waiting on your order, Estelle. Huh? My order? You were the ones who originally received Her Majesty's request. So we're waiting on your command before we begin. But uh, I'm just a rookie. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. I don't think you'll have a problem. Just do it without shouting, okay? We'll be there to help. We'll have no objections. I, uh... We have little faith in yourself. Oh, uh, well, have a little faith in yourself. Don't worry about the trivial details. Just deal with things as they come. Right. Okay then, here goes. Everyone, let's get those hostages rescued. Inspiring speech, Estelle. Ah, I can't actually be angry at her. Ugh, I'm so freaking hungry. Isn't it time to change shifts yet? Come on, stay focused. There's no telling when the Royal Guardsmen might finally show themselves. There weren't more than ten escapees. The Colonel really put his mind to it. We could have hunted a, a lot of them down in no time. If you think that's easy, then go ahead and try. What? Lieutenant Trors? Listen up, we have word from the ID ship. We apparently have a lock on the Royal Guardsmen. If we get there quickly, this will be our chance to wipe them out. Roger. That settles that. <laughs> wow, talk about bringing the whole roster of them. Idiots. 
The airship's locked down. You'll never be able to use it. If you'd done as the Colonel said, we would have spared your lives. And now you're going to die, and you've only got your stone stubbornness to blame. Take this! Your bracers? You can't be serious. You're not actually going to try standing against the Royal Army. Sorry to disappoint, but you've already been marked as criminals. By order of the Queen, you will let us pass. The ambush party's on the move. I'll go ahead and uh, lure the remaining forces out to the, into the front gardens. I'll break into the villa while they're distracted. Sounds good. Ideas be with all of you. My god, the red shirts. Well, I guess green hats would probably be the best. Well, I guess we're heading in the same direction. <laughs> All right, looks like they went for it. Now's a chance to sneak in. Roger that. Seriously, how can you miss someone that gigantic? I love a good rescue operation. So this is Air Broil Villa. It's gorgeous. It certainly gives the castle a run for its mirror. Well, it is the royal family residence. Oops, looks like the welcoming committee's here. Who are you people? You don't need to know our names. Or it will or serve no purpose here. Let's go. Finally, you can enjoy some combat. So this game is actually a tactical-based game for all the viewers who've actually been stayed for the show here. It is actually turn-based, and there are actually special moves and also magic in this game. Something I am going to enjoy using right now. Eh, right right here should work. And there are also limit breaks in this game as well. Oh, they have guns. I should have looked at that. Oh well. At least one can enjoy the power of magic. So this game actually has a very much an in-depth magic system that you can actually use uh, what this game calls ports to actually create combinations to actually cast multiple magics. Really? You're, you're, you're gonna make me miss. That may actually make things a little more interesting. I don't know about 10 out of 10 combat, but it's certainly for a game, it actually is it's actually decent. Although I will say though, if you are playing the PC version like I am, I would and if you want to if you need to speed things up, like I do, because this is a stream, there is actually a turbo mode that you can actually just speed up combat immensely. I highly recommend using that. Because it can make things a whole lot faster. You'll rarely- I will say one thing, you'll rarely need to actually use the move command. It is very rare you'll actually ever need to use the move command. Now where's the princess being held? This place is huge. Just have to search it room by room. If we hang around here, you can bet we're gonna have more company, and soon. Let's gonna move on. Oh. What? Who are you people? Alt, don't move a muscle! Honestly, my only criticism right now off the top of my head would be that the, uh, the art system, uh, feels like it's kinda, kinda holds itself back. That would be my main criticism of it. Really, I thought he would have gone for it. This game actually has a lot of interesting abilities here. Like Evil Eye. Which can, uh, which I can actually delay enemies' attacks. So it's actually really cool that you can actually control the flow of combat. Or the turn order and such, because there are actually also bonuses you get as well. 
So, like, that exclamation mark there, that actually ensures a critical. And it also applies to enemies as well. But I'd probably say it's a little more biased in the favor of the player. Just simply because it's easier to, uh, to manipulate the turn order. <laughs> they messed with the wrong guy. Like, I would honestly say this is close to... Grandia, too. But, of course, it's turn-based. <sighs> Not fun, attacked out of nowhere. Looks like there's still a few soldiers in the villa. They're patrolling the corridor in the central courtyard periodically. Our only option will be to silence anyone who sees us. I'm okay with that. This place is huge. Well, I guess they wouldn't be in the library. No one here either. I like how this adventure starts with a rescue operation and then ends with an... It seems like it's ending with a rescue operation. Guess they allow me to only search so many doors. Well, let's try and sp uh, speed things up a little bit. Unless I miss, like a twit. Good, good, good job. Did I... I seriously actually just... I seriously just hurt myself there with that. Yeah, I can actually hit all three of these guys. Fortunately, they all get criticals. There we go. Take him out. Take him out. And whack. And he used it. No, you stay down. We. I don't remember reviving bombs restoring 500 HP. I call shenanigans. Shenanigans must stop power. It's locked. Oh no! It seems pretty solid, and locking Mesem is, is quite secure. We definitely won't be able to get in without the key. Hmm, I guess we'll have to leave this place for later. Fine room. Great, now I have to look for a key. I love the music, though. Music is always top notch. Who, who are you people? Crap, we totally picked the wrong room. Hmm? What are you doing here? I ain't seen you before. Good evening, we're with the Bracer Guild. Huh. No need to get up, just enjoy yourselves and rest well. <laughs> Let's beat up the drunks. Poor guys. Ah, oh, I'm only gonna get three of them. Fine, whatever. I actually like Evil Eye. Attack delay is very important in this game. Actually, she's, she has a really good art. Uh... Zin is just... Really? Double misses? This is what I get for not actually properly equipping my orbits. Joshua, you should not be missing. You have a high amount of agility. Whew, well, that's taken care of. They're too drunk to really know what's going on. It's like some kind of bar, same as the one in the castle. But please don't kill me. Uh, I'm not with them. We know that. You work at the villa, right? We've come to help at the request of Her Majesty the Queen. What? Really? You're honestly here to save us? Yes, so would you calm down already? I'd just be praised. I thought I was done when my reporter friend was taken away. I hope he's alright. Reporter friend? He must mean me all. You know him? Ah, I see. Yes, I'm the one who contacted him. I came to get an interview with the prince. Uh, he came to get an interview with the princess who was being guarded here. His passion for his work is hard to argue with, so I wound up sneaking him in and showing him the way. But he was spotted and then taken prisoner? Yes, and much to my shame, it was only then I realized the severity of the situation. I heard that Her Highness was being kept here to protect her from any potential terrorist assault. The truth is she's being held prisoner by the Intelligence Division. 
was so glad that she was coming, uh, that it simply had never occurred to me. I'm truly unfit for my position. Come on, no need to be depressed. Would you happen to, uh, to have any idea what the prisoners are being held? Yes, they've all been gathered in the press room, which is in the inner, innermost chamber. It's a large banquet hall used for events like the formal signing of treaties. Big inside hall? Maybe over there? Yes, the room behind the big locked door. Ah, so it's locked then. He is normally in possession of the Intelligence Division Company Commander. I believe he left when the terrorists showed up. Huh? Which means that it was taken by the ones who ambushed Lieutenant Schwartz and her men. No good, there's no time to go back. Just a moment. There's a spare key to that door. It's here somewhere. If memory serves, I believe it's hidden somewhere in the gallery. Roger that. Gallery. Let's hurry. Well, I think I already went past the gallery. And also into another fight. So one thing actually I kind of haven't been explained yet, for each of the enemies here, they actually also have elemental weaknesses. So right now they actually show no weaknesses. If they have anything less than 100, which means they're strong. If they have a lot of elemental efficiency, it means they're weak to it. Unfortunately though, these guys... These guys are pretty powerful. So I don't really get any luxury here. I'm not going to be able to actually hit the other two. Actually, no, never mind. I will be able to hit them all. White Gehe is just a really good ability in this game. No, no crits for you, please. Always be mindful of when, you, of when you're casting. Or what, what the turn order is. I used to ignore that a lot. <sighs> of course I can't. Well, I can't get both of them. That's that a lot of experience for this place. Alright, uh, gallery. That was... That was the drawing room. I think this was the gallery, actually. Yes, it was. I'm gonna guess the chamber. Plates. Hot. There we go. That makes things easy. I should have healed. Use spare key. Okay, good. I actually have a time to heal. Sadly, I will have to say, if you do have an interest in learning more about the game, or playing it, or... Learning the more mechanics, unfortunately, that'll have to come at a different time. Where the heck are my items here? Oh, healing goes with, uh... The EP here. That's actually the first time I actually got to use an item. Who are you? Why do you look so familiar? <laughs> hey, you guys won the martial arts competition! That means you're with the Bracer Guild! That's right! I suppose you could persuade you to just forget you saw us. Shut it! We're defenders of an impregnable fortress. If you want past us, you have to go through us. Oh, I've never seen them with blaze before. Oh, this might be painful. That's a problem. That's... that's actually a problem. Uh, I think it's... faint? Yeah, it's faint. Okay. That was a lot of damage. And they ha they do a lot of damage. And they can resist confusion. And they can spam AoEs. I am in trouble. I am in trouble. Okay. This. We need to pull off a crit here. I'm always a sucker for energy blasts in games. 
They're just so much fun. Let's see. There is a very good chance I won't be able to actually save him unless I do this. I'm hoping they won't aim for Joshua. They're probably gonna kill Joshua now. No, never mind, they're not. That's actually a surprise. Evil Eye is a really powerful ability. There's a very good reason why I'm using it. Well, I'm willing to bet it all. Good, the Gambit pays off. You? Yo, we're here to save your bacon. Hello, Niall. You don't look too, in too bad a shape. Are you serious? Still, Joshua, I never thought I'd see you here. Huh? You're, you're the princess. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're with the Bracer Guild. I think it's a little late for introductions. So we meet again, as promised. Uh. Hello? Estelle, I sincerely hope you're joking. You ought to have recognized me sooner. But not with the dress, and the hair, and the things. What happened? Pardon us, Clo. Estelle doesn't know to doubt how to doubt people. Hey, what the hell's that supposed to mean? <laughs> There's the Estelle I know. And Joshua? You'll still use that name for me? Yes, since it seems to be the one you'd prefer. Would you rather I use your real name? No, but thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, so what are you doing here, Clo? And for that matter, why isn't the princess here? Uh, she's right in front of you. That's the queen's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. Huh? I'm not screaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you. I planned to tell you both the truth when we next met in Grand Cell. But then Colonel Richard had me detained. Uh, but why? Why would the princess be hiding in an ordinary school? Why did you have us call you Clo? I'd like for you to keep calling me that. My real name is Claudia von Osles. Clo is the pet name that Jill came up uh, with using bits for my whole name. Really? Uh, then what about your hair? Oh, this is just a wig. If I had the same hairdo when I was on campus, it would probably just create trouble. I can't believe I missed the connection myself. I've seen your picture often enough, and I remember you from the Merrill scandal in Ruan. But I never put two and two together. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, se it doesn't seem that Uncle Dunon or the Mayor of Dalmor recognize me either. Oh yeah, even the Dukes and the Dukes even related to you. Oh, I forgot something important. I see. To all three of you. I extend my deepest gratitude for coming to rescue me. Aw, it was nothing. Heck, if we'd know it was our Chloe in here, no one would have had to ask. Still. <laughs> no doubt. You should save your thanks for Her Majesty, as she's the one who deserves them. She had no concern for herself, just said we should save you. I think your safety will give her the strength to resist the Colonel's demands. But doing so may endanger her life. Yes, that is her way. If something is not done, then she is in grave danger. I think I've seen enough of this little farce. Uh, Princess! Rion! What the? She's General Morgan's granddaughter. She's imprisoned at the Hawking Gate. Say they're taking her, uh, her to keep him uh, from causing any trouble. Just as he did with her majesty. This isn't just some idle threat. Every man in the special ops has a dream, and we will stop at nothing to achieve it. And that's something you're proud of? I'll make a deal with you, Sergeant. Please, take me as your hostage rather than the child. Ah, not a chance. I know I said we'll stop at nothing, but even we don't have the nerve to harm a member of the royal family. 
General Morgan's grandkid, on the other hand, suits our needs just fine. I didn't even know General Morgan had a grandkid until now. She's a valuable hostage, and it's not going to cause us real problems if she, if, if she was to end up getting hurt. You're a monster! I'd have, uh, I'd have said coward myself. Pathetic, disgusting, sick. Pick an adjective. Eh, you can talk all you want. It's almost time for the patrols to return from the Royal Avenue. Then you can round up the guardsmen and the braces. Not bad for one night's work. Oh, I'm afraid that won't be happening. I already took your buddies out on the way over here. What? <laughs> there, there, it's alright. Okay, how did she actually get here? I do, long time no see. Sh Shira? You came. Damn it all, who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> Some people just have no manners. I guess that is my special gift. I'm guessing a gate brought them to Shira. That's cruel. Hey, who fired that shot? Olivier, I guess. Bingo! I almost thought it was Tita, but I just realized she's hiding. And the star makes his dramatic entrance. Please, hold your applause until after the performance has ended. <laughs> and the drama turns into a comedy. Nice seeing you again, Sherizard. It's been a long time. Indeed it has. I never thought I'd find you in Liberal. I was honestly quite relieved when I heard that you'd fallen in with Estelle and Joshua. Okay, how is she up to speed on everything? <laughs> well, I think you're overestimating my capabilities, like usual. As for you, you've only become more beautiful. I barely even recognized you. Oh, really? Hmm, I'm suddenly brimming over with something akin to jealousy. Am I merely a toy to be used when convenient and cast aside when boredom sets in? Yes. Yes, you are. But I actually do like you a lot as a character. <laughs> hey, Olivier. Ayn has been wanting to see you. He's hoping to go out for drinks again. Uh, forgive me, I've committed a grave offense. I swear, none of you ever, ch ever change. I'm glad to see you, Shara. I thought the Royal Army had the checkpoints completely sealed off. Yes, we crossed Valeria Lake by boat. And docked at Grand Cell Harbor. Well, that's one way around the problem. But how did you wind up falling in with that failed ex uh, excuse me, traveling with musician? We ran into each other uh, 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 with each other at the local guild branch. It's like a lost puppy. We didn't have much choice other than to bring him along. <laughs> I simply couldn't allow such an amusing and interesting show to go on without me. And may I ask who is this who this fair lady is? Oh, right. Introductions. This is the Queen's granddaughter, Her Highness Princess Claudia. She's a friend of ours. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Thank you very much for coming to help me. Think nothing of it. I'm simply doing my duty as a bracer. And I could scarcely consider myself a gentleman if I did not leap to the aid of a lovely lady of noble birth. The honor and pleasure at this meeting is entirely my own. Your Highness, are you well? Julia, Sieg! <laughs> I'm good. I'm happy to see you again. Thank goodness you're unharmed. I was so worried. The feeling is mutual. Pretty much the next time we actually get control, we're going to have to end the stream <laughs> at this point here. But hopefully from here on out we could actually, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to actually beat the game. I'm hopeful. Words cannot express my shame. If not for my ineptitude, none of this would have come to pass. I am so ashamed I could take my own life, or it's something to be permitted. Please do not say such things. I'm just happy to see you alive and unharmed. Thank you for coming to save me. Your Highness. Not that I'm moved by all of this, but I have to ask. Why is Seek still here? <laughs> he is Her Highness's escort, as well as a messenger for the Royal Guardsmen. After all, did he not deliver the letter to your hotel? Oh, th that night! I thought it might have been him. 
That must also be how you learned of her uh, Majesty's request. Yes, I heard of it from Sieg. Her Majesty sent word uh, through him from the Royal Keep. But the crest room in which the Princess Claudia was held had no windows for Sieg to use. I was very worried when I was unable to make contact. He just gave about... He just... Yeah, I, don't know, I can talk. The final dungeon is a bit long. You're not 100% sure if I'll finish tomorrow. How long are you looking at? How long, how long am I looking at in terms of an estimate, Ganahan? We're talking three hours? I could do three hours. Don't think I could do four, though. Sieg, that was your... That was just plain mean of you to leave that letter and not let us know it was you. <laughs> he says he's sorry. That's okay. By the way, have the special ops troops been dealt with? Almost all of the soldiers in the villa have been restrained. However, there are quite a few left in Grand Cell Castle. Much of the Royal Army is under intelligence division control, even outside Grand Cell. If we're not careful, we run risk of them seizing control of this building and branding us all rebels. Whoa, I haven't even thought about that. It's a good point. I think it would be best if we were get, uh, to get Chloe to a safer location, at the very least. Perhaps we could seek asylum at the Erebonian or Republic embassies. Since they're considered foreign territory, it would be it would make it very difficult for them to lay a hand on her. There's also that special ops ship that sees nearby. We could use that to allow her to flee the country for the time being. It wouldn't solve the whole problem, but it would buy us some time to find a better solution at the very least. I agree. Regardless, we need to find some way to get her to safety. Um, everyone? I understand the difficulties of the current situation. But would it be possible to make an official request to the Bracers? What? The hostages have been rescued, uh, rescued, so I think it'll be alright. Of course, it depends on what the contents of the request are. So, if so, I must ask you to do the impossible. Will you help me in retaking the Royal Castle and rescuing Her Majesty? Your, your Highness. See, that's right. This time we have to help the Queen. To be honest, I consider the question to be ridiculous because the answer is obvious. But your Highness, this is no small thing you're asking for. Quite right. It's no chance that a frontal assault would work, even with the capabilities of everyone here. I think that captured special ops ship has potential. We're going to need some kind of serious, seriously clever trick. I have an idea. If everyone would please look at this. Oh my goodness, this is a map. It's an ancient diagram of the sewers below Grand Cell. That could have been a whole a lot more useful. Three hours, assuming I don't have to grind. Ooh. Ooh, that's a rough call, honestly. One of the things it lays out is the path that leads to the castle cellar. What's the meaning of this? How can we've lost contact with the Arab Royal Villa? Most likely it's fallen to an external force. Either the Guardsmen or the Bracers. Those interfering little... Were you not in command of that division's le second lieutenant? It is a pity. What's done is done. Obsessing about it now will accomplish nothing. Furthermore, we must strengthen the castle's defenses to ensure that Her Majesty is not taken. I don't need you to tell me that. I want the castle gate sealed! Not a soul is to enter from here on out! The only attacks I should worry about are the ones that come from the sky! Yes, ma'am! Once that done, scrape up, uh, scrape up troops from wherever you can find them, anyone in Liberal, and send them to the villa! Priority one is to subjugate the terrorists who deceived the royal family! Yes, ma'am! <laughs> Nicely done! Of course it was. I've served with this unit for some time, unlike you. I swear, I will protect this castle while His Excellency is absent. No matter the cost. I feel sorry for her. She's actually just... She's following his orders because she obviously has a passion for him, but... It's not... Not good, honestly. Okay, here's how we're going to free Grand Cell Castle and the Queen. 
First, Joshua and the two others will infiltrate the Grand Cell sewers. We'll proceed to the Royal uh, Guard Room and open the castle gate. Got it. Time to light a few fireworks. <laughs> well, it does seem appropriate for the beginning of the final act. As soon as the gates are open, the Guardsmen and four of the Bracers will make their way to the castle by way of the streets. We need to make a real spectacle to draw all of the guards together in one place. You're in good hands. Alright, I've been looking forward to this. And finally... Your Highness, are you certain I cannot get you to reconsider? I'm sorry, but I must be there to help my grandmother. Also, I know how to pilot an airship. I hope to be able to put, it, uh, put that skill to good use. If I'd known this would happen, I never would have taught you. It's okay, Lieutenant. I'll look after Chloe for you. I swear she'll be kept safe or my nickname isn't the Silver Street. Please understand. I understand. Please do what you can. Okay, that makes me feel a little better because I'm okay with one stream being an hour and a half and one stream being two hours. The problem, of course, is the one thing I don't have control of, which is timing. And my personal skill level. Let me ask this question, actually, Ganahan, because I've noticed this game loves to take its time. How heavy is the plot? How heavy is the plot? How heavy is the combat? Once the men inside the castle have been concentrated into the area, Estelle and her team will sit down in the Grand Terrace. Then, they will break into the Queen's room and rescue her. Roger. Both operations will begin at the stroke of the noon bell. Everyone is to remain on, on alert until then. Alright. You have your tasks! Get to them! Dismissed! Yes, ma'am! Joshua, please be careful. Don't go taking on un any unnecessary risks. I'll be fine. And you try to be on your best behavior. Don't over un overestimate your own strength, and make sure to watch Shara's back. I understand. Whatever happens, remember our promise. We see each, each other again, safe and sound in Grand Sill Castle. Count on it. Joshua, there's no telling what kind of creatures inhabit the sewers. Please take the utmost care. I know, and I will. And don't worry about Estelle. You've grown so much during this trip of yours. Not just in your skills and braces qualifications, but in your hearts. Or so it seems to me. Shara! What does that mean? I it's nothing, save it for later. Heh. <laughs> Even in times of crisis, you can always count on these two brats. <laughs> Quite so. Now, I think we'll be heading out. May we meet again, my lovelies. Adios be with you. Joshua. Hey, Princess. I don't wonder why those two have some kind of destiny in store for them. <laughs> yes, the thought has crossed my mind. Have a smile for each other. I have to admit, I'm even the tiniest bit envious. Looks like the regular soldiers have been replaced with special ops guys. The enemy's probably gotten quite desperate since we la liberated the villa. Security seems a lot tighter than normal. Perhaps I can loosen them up with the dull set tones of my loot. You do anything so conspicuous, and that and that guy will be on you faster than you can say off key. Mueller, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, you two should definitely must rather not go near the Arobian embassy. It would be quite dangerous. Yes, quite perilous indeed. <laughs> well, neither of us have time to just drop by there. Once prep preparations are complete, we have to get inside the sewers. And I think this is where we will end things tonight here. Let's actually make one final save here. I'm surprised, actually, the game is dividing us into groups of two. But it shouldn't actually surprise me, considering character divisions and such. Combat is quite heavy in the final dungeon. That's fine. That's actually okay by me. It's more of the plot, just simply because they like taking its time. Makes me wish I didn't read the second part there, but that's fine. It is possible to win it, though. That's actually interesting. That has me very intrigued. I am a type of person who never likes taking on forced lost battles. <laughs> but something tells me I'm probably going to lose it. 
But that's going to do it for me tonight. Tomorrow we shall begin this operation and hopefully... It's going to sound honestly like we're going to have to divide this into two streams. But once again, I don't actually look, look up guides or anything like that for, this, for these type of things. No, it's fine, Ganaham. I actually do appreciate it, honestly, because... It feels weird, honestly, from all my time playing RPGs and stuff. When I play a game like Dead Cells, like I made a switch from that. Going back to an RPG and then back to regular games is honestly a very jarring experience, and you're really... I like making a very self-contained stream, because I hate leaving things on cliffhangers. I like things like, well, this is what we're going to do next here. We have something that's very clear that'll help build up, a climax, and a resolution. And it makes it just more, much more enjoyable instead of just, like, choosing some random place to end a stream. Because honestly, that kind of thing, I absolutely hate. I prefer to have... I prefer to have a proper presentation, and hopefully these streams provide them. But that's gonna do it for us tonight here. I'm gonna take a look and see who else is streaming tonight here. And... Let me take, let me take a look, one more look here. I wanna see, there's gotta be someone who's streaming. Ah, excellent, actually. Here's someone, actually, that, that you probably actually enjoy. There is a Summoning Salt. He is actually a speedrunner for Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. He is also the person uh, that has actually made a series on YouTube under the channel Summoning Salt, uh, going over the history of speedruns. You probably actually... You should actually take the time and check out his YouTube channel, because it goes very much in-depth of how the speedruns came to be... Uh, and some of the biggest famous ones, Super Mario Brothers, Mario Kart games, multiple Mario Kart games. Um, and they're honestly just a very much an enjoy to watch if you enjoy so much of a, a documentary style. It's not, don't worry, there's no face cam or anything like that. It focuses purely on the topic and it goes extremely in-depth of how the actual speedrunners pull it off on a mechanical level. So it's a very entertaining thing to watch. But he is actually streaming Mike Tyson's Punch Out right now because, of course, and if I remember correctly, he is actually still the world record holder for Mike Tyson's Punch Out. So I'm going to give him a host, give him a watch, but I'm see you guys tomorrow. Until then, though, hope you enjoy your Wednesdays. Hopefully the middle of the week and the rest of the week will go well for you. But until then, take care.